Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm bringing you a Q&A because I haven't done one of these in a while now and that's just pretty much because I have just been focusing on my progress videos quite a lot, uh, getting into Prithner, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm bringing you back one today. So the first few questions, I think I've got one, two, four questions. Um, I can count by the way, I didn't just skip three. Um, but I've got four general and frequently asked questions to go through and then I have three which I've picked out from like comments here and there which I think will be quite interesting to answer because I've never really had questions like this before so I thought I'd answer those but I'll get around to those after I've done the general ones. So the background footage you're going to be seeing right now is some Necreal and also some Desert Strike Worm footage from my Slayer tasks. The footage was supposed to be like a full face cam Q&A for this one However, my phone uh, memory is pretty full, so the whole video that I recorded on the space I had was pretty laggy because obviously the phone is struggling. So I promise for next time I will like clear some stuff off it and record it like that again, like the last one I did with the full face camera when I was in Greece. So, you know, look out for that next time because I promise you I'll do that. But for this one, like I said, you'll be seeing some Slayer footage, so feel free just to listen to this in the background if you don't want to watch it. Uh, but something which is pretty awesome actually, when I was doing the Desert Strike Worm task, I actually managed to get a focus site, which is the rare drop for Desert Strike Worms, which I've been trying to get for the last few tasks I've had it. You'll see me getting it in the actual, like, the next progress video, but I mean, you get to see it in the footage today anyway. So that was pretty awesome, I've been trying for that, and it's not worth much, like 130k, but just to obtain another rare item from a monster is just pretty cool, just another one to add to the collection. But let's go ahead and actually move on to the questions now. So the first one is a general one, like I said, and it's how do I make my money? So the main way for me, like, I don't show everything. I don't show you like all the little details in videos just because if a video for some reason gets a ton of views and that method crashes, that would kind of suck for me and everyone else who uses the method. So I don't want to do that. And I know I don't have like a massive audience, but some of my videos have got over 30,000, nearly 40,000 views. So if that was to happen for this one for any reason, it would suck if I, you know, ruin the method or whatever. So I'm not going to talk about specific methods in this video. Uh, but I will say the main sort of way I make money is flipping, skilling and PVM. Obviously you guys know I have my Slayer loot tab if you haven't kept up with the series. It's worth over 30 mil now, so that's insane. Slayer is an awesome way to make money. I never thought it was, but it is. But yeah, Slayer is definitely one of the top ways to make money and still be efficient. And I've learned that now. It took me ages to learn it, but I have learned it now. And all of my money now is coming from Slayer in the loot tab. Money on the side of that to train like herb lore, prayer, stuff like that is coming from flipping. Uh, which I will be starting up the series on again and that'll probably help you guys out because when I do flipping you guys can sort of follow along if that makes sense but always obviously check the margins before you do it but it'll give you ideas on items and sort of how to pace yourself out I guess with items and money and stuff like that so the new series of that will probably be coming out within the next month or so because it does take quite a long time to do flipping efficiently and you know without losing any money so yeah that'll probably that's probably one of the main ways I guess I make money and definitely used to make money that way anyway and apart from that it's just like general PVM skilling if you do it in a way that you can actually save money and you know high out it back um, that's a good way to make money just anything like that really I've got a few guides but I don't really know if they're in date anymore um, but just in general PVM is you can't really go wrong with it the next question is why don't I go to bosses for certain slayer tasks and this one's actually pretty straightforward and easy yes it'll be good it's more efficient for loot and you know XP is better stuff like that however because I have to put it into a video I can't really deal with the time consumption side of it because like I said I have to upload frequently I have to get things done faster for you guys um, that I'm uploading more frequently as well so that kind of where it's sort of I don't know that's sort of where it stops me from doing the certain bosses However, if you guys do want to see more bossing than just normal tasks in videos, what I can definitely do is, you know, do half and half. So I'll do half the task on avian seeds, for example, and then half on armor. If that's what you guys like to see, just let me know and I can arrange that. The next question is, can I leave the intro songs in the description of my videos? And this one I get asked quite a lot because I always forget I'm really bad at this stuff. I always say that I'm going to do it and I never do. I always forget to leave the songs I use in my videos, like the name of them, in the description and luckily I do have a subscriber which does this for me not in the description obviously in the comment section so thank you to you seriously because you help me out a lot um, but from now on I promise you guys I will try my best to put these songs in the description I just always forget 
and then when you guys ask me what it's called, by the time I actually get round to answering you guys and, you know, I've already edited the video, I can't remember what the song's called anymore, so I just sort of like go, like I get a mind block and I can't remember what it is, but I promise from now on I will try my best to put them in the description for you guys, so if you want to go and check out the song in this video, just go down there and it should be down there, if it's not, you can give me a slap in the face. So the final like general question slash suggestion on this one is do you know that you can turn your challenges in at Prif? I didn't know this until the other day when I read the first comment but by the time I'd read that comment like the last video I made was already edited and uploaded for schedule the next day so it was too late for me to do that but yes I do know I can turn in my challenges at Prif, not at Birthorpe now so thank you to everyone who told me that because you know otherwise I wouldn't know but I have found out now it's actually quite embarrassing because they are right near like the main section in the middle of Prifthinus, right where you teleport in so thank you to everyone and I do apologize for being so dumb but moving on now I want to answer the few questions which I have and the first one is from murders125 and he asks how am I planning on getting 99 agility so I haven't really thought about 99 agility because I don't really want to get it anytime soon however it is pretty viable now, agility is pretty much a viable skill considering these silverhawk boots are around, you can just buy the feathers and voila, there you go, that is 99 agility whilst you skill and train everything else. So that's kind of one way you could kind of get it I guess if you want to do that and wait that long, however I will probably do a mixture of doing that but it is quite pricey so I probably won't do it a lot but I'll do that while I skill and then I'll just do the best courses for my level, use any of the XP lamps I get towards it, use those, you know, just things like that which I'll, you know, are beneficial to me. I'll just use them and try and get the best XP from it. Next up we have a question from Infinity Sax and they ask, can you only get ascension grips on task? And this was from my last video, the progress one where I got two ascension grips on one slayer task of Rarari, which was insane. It was amazing. I got two grips worth 4.4 mil each. They don't sell for that much apparently, but just to have like that much in value items in the loot tab was insane to get that it was like nine mil i got from just one task in total so that was insane and it was awesome but yes unfortunately you can only get the grips on task but i just like favorited the task and just i don't know it gives me a higher chance of getting them because i get more chance of getting the task so yeah you can do that if you want but yes unfortunately it's only on task which does kind of suck but there you go the next question comes from mark shars and i think that's how you say your name uh, but he says hey crunchy i was wondering if you're gonna put out any new money making guides love the vids keep it up and thank you for that sir but yeah i am thinking about making some more money making guides i know you guys do enjoy them it helps you guys out so i don't really see why not they're a different addition to the channel as opposed to the normal progression videos so yeah it's a, it's a possibility just let me know if you guys want to see more of those as well and i can get around to it fairly soon so the final question that i'm going to answer for the video is from wallow radford and they ask when will you do ritual of the majorat and honestly i'm not too sure probably fairly soon within the next month or two because at the moment i'm completely happy with where i am quest wise i'm where i want to be and i've got the things i want so right now it's not that big of a priority for me however you know questing's good i eventually want the quest cape so at some point fairly soon i think it's quite a big quest if i remember rightly so i'll do it fairly soon i believe but there we go guys that's all the questions for today's q a hopefully you have enjoyed it if you have like always chuck it a massive thumbs up just let me know down below if you have any other questions or if i missed your question just leave that down there as well and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.